So first we need to get our windows and I'm from Columbus, Georgia and my favorite place to get things like that and shop for junk is at Reeves Wrecking. You have a ton of windows to choose from out here so come on down to make all our projects. This is our first one, the stained glass, but we may make um, a table and all kind of other things. So where do y'all get your windows? Well, we get them from houses that we wreck and take apart by hand. Some of them we wreck with machinery, but the ones that we take apart by hand, we actually salvage the windows because there's unlimited projects that all these delightful women come and That's make. Nice. It's, it's amazing what they do with them. I'm, I'm continually impressed. And about how much are the windows? They run around five dollars a piece, uh, so it's not you know it makes Can't it an affordable that. project. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at some and. I even have projects that you can make with broken ones, so it doesn't even matter if the panes are broken or in there. It's going to be fabulous. All right. Thanks. All right. I picked this one because now I'm going to make a wavy pattern with my little pebbles, and there's a lot of window to work with instead of, I didn't want to have a lot of panes, thingies across here. What are those called? Thingies is good. Thingies across because I want to make a pattern. So that's why I picked just one down the middle. So I guess we'll take this and go pay and... All right, let's get started with those stained glass windows. The items you're gonna need for this project, this is resin that you can find at your local hobby store. I get it at Michael's because I use the Sunday coupon for 40% off. And this is equal to about 50 coats of varnish. And some marbles or whatever you wanna put on your window pane. And I'm, I'm making mine in um, a wave pattern because I'm going to put it in my bathroom. And you can make it however you want. You can make daisies on it or whatever. Just how, you know, you be creative and let your personality come through and it'll be great. But I'm just going to add these last few marbles on mine and then we're going to mix up the resin to make the great stained glass. So we're just going to mix these two together to make the mixture. Then you mix it for two minutes and then you're going to pour it on there. You can put anything in here. Don't just do marbles. That's what I picked. Teenagers would like maybe daisies and then you're just going to pour this on top of them and makes them look like they're floating. Or in a kid's room, you can maybe have a bug theme and put little plastic bugs under here and a house. It doesn't, you can do it so many ways. Well, um, I've seen cars, little matchbox cars underneath here and candy. It seals it in. This stuff is like 50 coats of varnish, so nothing's getting through. And if you happen to get it on your hands, have some rubbing alcohol ready. <laughs> So it is, it's going to be really cute and it's an inexpensive project that you'll have forever and it, it really looks like stained glass. So, okay, I think I'm about finished mixing this and all you do, this is so easy, y'all aren't even going to believe it, is you just pour it on and it kind of goes everywhere and for, you need one box of this for the window pretty much the whole window. And you let this, after you do this, you let it dry for a day, and the next day it'll be ready to hang. And you can just hang it on the wall as a wall hanging. I'm gonna put eye hooks in the top of mine and hang it in a window like a stained glass. So, and you just smear this on with your very professional tool. I use professional tools all the time. Okay, now I'm gonna take my wet window outside to dry. And I hope that this one doesn't let a bug get in it like my other one did, because that's not very good. But anyway, remember this is about 50 coats of varnish and you need to let it dry for about 24 hours. Okay, it's all nice and dry. So now I'm gonna add my hooks so you can hang it in your window. And I've already added one hook over here, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it. You make sure your drill bit is at least smaller or the same size as your hook because you don't want it too big. You can find the place you want to do it. I'm going to do mine right here. Drill it in. I'd already pre-drilled. And then you just screw your hook in. And like I said, I did two of these, so I'm going to hang them together in my bathroom window. And it covers up the whole entire window almost. So 
There you have it. My hooks are in place and now I'm ready to go hang it. Here we are. I've hung my first window using the same hooks, actually to the top of the windowsill with a little chain because I wanted mine a little longer. And hooks in this window like I showed y'all a minute ago. Whoa. And then I'm just going to hang it. There you have it. Stained glass window art. Mm -hmm.